going to use this whole tube tonight. So where are we at right now with this painting? This is um, this couple, they got married at the Marble House. It was in August and we've been working on this. There was a little bit of a delay and so I'm finishing up now. And um, right now that we're in the, just finishing up the acrylic stage. So the acrylic stage is great. Acrylics are a water-based medium where um, the paints I add the water to 
and it dries quickly. So what's really nice is I can do a lot of layers. I can make adjustments. I can move things around pretty easily on the canvas if I don't like what I've got up there and I need to make some edits and some tweaks and adjustments. In the acrylic stage, it's very easy. When we get to the oil stage, it's a little bit more challenging and I want to know what I'm doing before I start layering all my paints down because Sometimes when you're layering certain paints in the oils, it makes it very hard to go on top of it until those oil layers dry. So in this next stage, um, as you can see, I don't do a whole lot of details in the couple's faces yet. I'll work on their faces in the oil stage. But the next stage that I do is I actually take a photograph of the painting and I'll bring it into um, like a program called Procreate where I can kind of look at it, I can analyze it as well in another program in order to look at the value structure. And the value structure is really the dark and lights of the painting. And sometimes when you're working on something like a painting like this with a complicated scene and you've got a lot of details happening and <clears throat> when you're painting it, you get excited and interested in a certain area like a curtains I loved painting and the fireplace. But I was realizing that the value structure was kind of falling apart. It wasn't exactly how I wanted it. And I, I'll show you more of how what I mean when I actually demonstrate this part. But what I always want to do is make sure my main focus is, of course, the couple. Everything else is secondary. And if it's competing, if this is too bright and too high of a contrast, this is going to compete with what you're looking at here. So this everything in the painting that's high contrast has to really be analyze whether or not it should be kind of toned down in order to make sure the couple is still your main feature. And so what I do is I'll bring it into a program called Procreate. And what I'll do is I'll actually use a digital brush. I'll go over the painting and I put these very light layers on to see whether or not this is exactly the way I want to go with the oil paints. <laughs> and, and, and I really was happy with the results. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start adding this in with the oil paints. <clears throat> I like to use an oil paint called M. Graham. And M. Graham is made with walnut oil. It's one of the original paint, paint uh, mixtures that are used years ago by the masters. And I just have a tube of burnt umber. It's a nice earthy tube. And I like to darken with just this as an initial glaze. And what I'll do is I have a little bit of my um, walnut medium here. This is, helps to kind of thin the paint out. So we're using burnt umber, which is a transparent color, but it also makes it even more transparent when I add this medium into it. But just a few drops is all I need. And I really am gonna kind of sweep over. So I will be sweeping over this top area I'll be sweeping over any area that I think that I want to kind of push back and recede a little bit more into the painting so that, um, again, it's just always drawing the focal point to the couple. So I've got my big brush and I'm just going to dip into just a little bit of the um, medium first. And I might add a little bit of walnut oil in. Oops, can't get it in there. Don't film this. <laughs> okay. So I want to get it very thin. This is going to be a very thin, transparent layer, and I just use the paper towels to wipe it down. So I'm just going to kind of go over this area. At first, it can look a little bit dark, but as you can see, I'll just start testing it in some areas. I want it thin, thin enough as a transparent layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe some of that off. Just I'll rub it in. And this, this I probably will put on two to three different layers of the oil paints just so that I can um, build up the layers. Nothing's going to be put on very heavy. It's kind of just loosely put on and worked into the painting. But you can even just see now, 
the difference between these two areas. This area has now gotten a little bit darker than this area. And I'll, I'll continue to, to um, add that oil glaze onto it and I'll bring it down over in this area too. I'm gonna hit the fireplace as well. And then I'll step back and take a look at it and see where I'm at. I love working in the oil glazes because it really can transform a painting without losing all the detailed work that you did before. This was a lot of work. Every square inch of this painting had some sort of a detail to it. And it was just such an incredible place to be able to um, be present at the wedding, as well as just being among in this room that was just, it was a gold room. And it was just so elaborate and so gorgeous. Just add a little bit more. We're gonna work into the curtains here. I know there's a little bit of lines I'll need to straighten up as I go. I'll make some corrections in the structure here. So there's a lot of layering that happens. I see even that already it's starting to look really good. It definitely gives it more dimension here. And then over in the corners, I will add a little darker so that um, it's kind of vignettes. It gives a nice little vignette. This is a very common trick that the masters use. Again, it brings your eye closer to the center focal point. good. I might add um, just a little bit of a purple to this brown, to the burnt umber. Yeah, I'm going to use a dioxin purple in here. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel to see more live wedding painting videos. Thanks.